All right, what is going on, guys? It's Scott here with the Neverhedge Podcast, and I am with a good friend of mine, uh, Danny. He's a big step in DGen, and uh, I wanted to do kind of an update video on the last uh, step in overview I did uh, a couple of months ago. That got like ten thousand views. So we're currently way fucking down from four bucks per GST. Dan, is that about right? Yeah. What was the, right. What was the peak? The pinnacle uh, of GST. Pinnacle. Of Danny GST. is it? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me on here, Scott. Uh, yeah. yeah. That back when you made that first video, things were uh, I was making more money than I was from my actual day job. Uh, I think the yeah. peak it, of things we were looking at ten dollars per GST, and we're looking at a nine and a half cent GST at the moment. So things have gone down nice. quite a bit. Do you want to um, share your screen so people can see what you're talking about? Yeah, we can go ahead and take a look at the chart here. This is a trading view, and the data source here is from Coinbase. So uh, the price actually goes back further than this, but it was released on Coinbase okay. here. This is what usually happens when a token's released on Coinbase. It's pumps up for like two days and then yeah uh, you can see the peak was ten dollars on the dot um things were really good even in here i was making about two to four hundred dollars a day in this period and now nice. we're down to about nine cents so i'm still making about 15 bucks a day um it's uh not looking as good that as it once did yeah and so for you to be making back when you were making 200 bucks a day how many pairs of shoes did you have uh let's see i had about nine pairs of shoes back then so that gave gave me about half the maximum energy cap so i wasn't even now i'm at you know tw uh you know maximum energy cap which is around uh i've got about 20 shoes and uh, even with that additional energy cap, I'm I'm not making nearly as much as I was. In fact, I've got this little sheet that kind of shows my annual projections of income. Uh, now, this is all I have to do is adjust this these two prices here, and you can see I'm still on track to making about let's see, eight thousand two hundred dollars a year if I do this every single day. But you know, if we go back to when Things were at four dollars per GST. I was uh, on pace to making three hundred and forty k a year, so some executive <laughs> level income right there. Jesus Christ! Uh, okay, but yeah, you know, it's still good enough to. Uh, I don't know if you want to think of it in one way. It pays for a meal each day or whatever. Yeah. Um, and, well. So. If you think about like if you're an active person and because I mean, I, I probably, you know, I go f on an hour walk every day, um, just push my baby in the stroller, you know, fucking for free. And I go mm -hmm. for usually a mile and a half to two mile run every morning, you know, also for free that I could could be could have been getting paid for. But yeah, uh, I'm just a loser that didn't buy any of these because they were too expensive for me yeah at the um, time you know so uh yeah they were quick like to hop in there like even if you were to buy in now so like the the price of the shoes like the buy-in has also gone down um with your earnings per day and what the one thing that has remained constant is the uh length of time before you get your return on investment so that's still looking at four to six weeks um to, to really buy in now you only need uh, i think it's about two soul per pair of sneakers and a uh, soul's looking at um 37 dollars oh so now. it's like yeah it's bucks like 60 bucks yeah yeah before like i remember i bought my first pair of sneakers. they were like a thousand dollars yeah most expensive pair of sneakers i ever bought and i was i bought I don't even want to say what, how much money I pumped into this game. It's it's a little. We have twenty pairs of shoes. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. So uh, what I recommend now is like if you're the kind of person who's going to go on a run anyway, or 
it's just kind of part of your daily routine. Like Scott was saying, he goes on an hour walk or like a one and a half mile jog in the morning. It's still kind of worth it. It makes it way more fun for me. I hadn't, you know, gone on a run in like 18 months uh, before this game. And now I'm like a, a daily runner. Um, so the game's still fun and they're still working on it. And I think the future is bright despite like, this chart because there's so many people that are still so excited about it and have like life changing stories of like, you know, being a hundred pounds overweight and now they're active because of this gamified step in game. So yeah, that, that I think is more like the huge value add is it takes someone who was maybe just going to sit around all day and do nothing. And then you financially incentivize, through, you know, Ponzi mechanics or not, um, them to actually get up and move around for, you know, 15 minutes a day. Essentially, if you have one pair, oh, like a base level pair of shoes, you can get, you know, be earning uh, GST for 15 minutes at a time, right? Uh, yeah, for uh, for each energy you have, um, you know, that's yeah. five minutes of earning. So if you get buy one pair of sneakers, you get, uh, you know, I think I want to say three or two energy is what you start out of. So t uh, 10 minutes of earning a day. Um, one cool announcement they just came up with is they just rewarded. It's kind of controversial here. The, uh, the board ape yacht club, uh, people who had board ape got airdropped, um, what they call new realms. So the first realm was Solana. They, opened up the second realm, which was the Binance Smart Chain. Now they've got a third realm for the Board Ape Yacht Club NFT holders who got airdropped a sneaker. And, you know, I think the GST prices for each realm is different. So I haven't even looked into what the GST... I know the, the BSC-based um, GST is like four cents more than the Solana one. Okay, yeah, well, uh, I think we could- So it's, there is a little bit of a discrepancy. Yeah, and that also makes it the, uh, if you wanna buy into the Binance Smart Chain um, realm, those sneakers are a little bit more expensive, um, but you also earn more. So, you know, that seems yeah. to be constant. Um, I can't find any data like on CoinGecko for the Board Ape Yacht Club sneakers, but that's kind of a current update on how things are going. Um, yeah. Can you, do you, do you mind um, sharing your, your gem arbitrage uh, sheet? Uh, yeah. Do you, do you have that? Cause that was a pretty crazy thing you were doing. That was pretty mind boggling when you told me about it. <laughs> yeah. So and I actually, I, I tried to do it with you. Mm -hmm. Um, but it is freaking impossible to get money on chain in a timely fashion, especially if you're, if you're trying to get for whatever reason, Solana is a pain in the ass to, to buy. If you if you're going from fiat to try and get Solana, it's it's freaking sucks. They gotta they gotta figure out a better on ramp for that. They definitely um, do. Um, so I had to use the the Change uh, Finance app, Change dot Finance, mm -hmm. and I had uh, a, some um, uh, UST, USDT staked in there that I was earning. I think I had like 200 bucks worth. And so at the time, can you, can you make that, uh, that sheet full screen? Yeah. So I can get it, uh, get a look at it. Cause I had, um, I ended up buying like 10 gems or something, 10 things of gems. And bad? then I was like, Oh yeah. And then, uh, I realized I also needed about $300 worth of GST. And then I kind of just gave up on it. Yeah. But you were you were gung ho for a oh, couple of days, right? This yeah, a lot. Uh, for I mean multiple days. Whenever I had like a few hours to burn, um, uh, basically, you know. So in Stepin, 
uh, you know, your, your sneakers have four gem slots, um, you know, efficiency, resilience, comfort, and luck. Efficiency basically makes it so you can earn more GST um, per, you know, minute you're, you're uh, out there earning. Resilience is so like, you have to repair your sneakers because they decay uh, when you're using them. Makes it so the decay costs are lower. Comfort, that really hasn't come out yet, but when they allow you to earn GMT, which is kind of the governance token, uh, that's what that'll be for. And then the luck, like when you're out and about on your runs, you can get mystery boxes. And inside those mystery boxes are like gems, more GST. And so that's what luck boosts um, is the, um, you know, the rate that you'll get mystery boxes and then the different tiers, like higher prizes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Better, better mystery boxes. So I made this guide. Uh, there's different levels of gems. It actually goes up to level six, I think, is the highest someone's gotten. Those ones um, still go for a lot of money, but I just don't. I didn't have enough money to even, you know, put that into the calculation yet. All you had to do was uh, update, you know, these cells right here of what the prices were um, for this arbitrage. And if the average ROI, like this, um, I haven't updated these yet, so this is very inaccurate. If this was positive, then it meant you were basically the house and the odds were in your favor to roll the dice on trying to upgrade these gems. There's a 35% chance uh, that when you sacrifice three level one gems, um, you'll be able to upgrade to a level two gem. So it's kind of risky, but if the price difference between like a level one and a level two was right, as well as the price of GST and soul, this average ROI would tell you if it was worth it to roll the dice and see if that 35% chance would be in your favor. Same with level two to three, except the odds are higher there. It's 55% chance to get to uh, from three to four, 65% chance so right uh, and so it seems like the like the higher the the higher uh tier gems that you're going to be sacrificing to make to try and upgrade it the better you're so like going from three to four you're having better odds than going from one to two yeah and with that though you're i mean yeah, look at cost I think, per attempt. The cost per attempt goes up substantially. Yeah, cost per attempt is is prohibitive. That's mm -hmm. I'm sure that's why they do that. Exactly. Yeah. Because at, at the time, I remember it was you know level one gem was I think it was like point two soul, but a level two was six soul, something like that. Yeah. And then a level three was like seventy. Yeah, I remember my first time rolling the dice on get, going from level two to level three. The cost per attempt was like fifteen hundred dollars, and uh, I rolled the dice and I nailed it. And I, so, three level two efficiency gems were twenty soul each at the time, um, and the level three efficiency gem I got, I was able to sell for a hundred and forty soul, and. Like I was like, no one was doing this yet at the time. Like I, I posted this guide, I think in the uh, step in discord after, after I milked it for a while before I thought, you know, I wanted to get as much out of it before people. Yeah. I, before everyone starts it. doing it. And, and uh, yeah. man, that was like, that was like a gambling rush right there. But uh, yeah, so essentially screwed by it. So you can go, you can, you know, despite the odds, you could roll the dice and get screwed like three or four times in a row. So. Oh yeah. It, oh, it's definitely gambling. Yeah, it's, it's gambling. Uh, for sure. But it's, so, so basically what you're doing is you're upgrading, you're taking gems, you're trying to upgrade them. If, if you're successful, then you just sell at floor price on the on their internal marketplace yeah i wish i could show kind of what that looks like but it's like all on ios or your android yeah it's app, crazy so I, I don't know, know why they don't have a desktop app yeah um but 
Yeah, I mean, it was cool because everything was calculatable. Like you had these constants, and then you just inputted like what the var- like the variable things that you had to take into account. Everything you could calculate, so you could know if you were the house, like if you were the house, or if you yeah, were if your era. odds were favorable or not. Yeah, and so um, that was the idea behind this. Uh, I'm trying to see if I have any other cool guides. Um, yeah, I made one here to see like you know if it was worth it to flip uh, sneakers or if it was worth it just to sell the GST that I earned from running. Um, You know, just like a little if statement here on, uh, depending on the prices of these things, of course, if I should mint or if I should just sell my GST. Um, Let's see. Made some other ones with mystery box uh, flipping. Um, Jesus. Yeah. What's I'm all right. Really so go, go back to the, to the mystery box flipping one. Yeah. And, and uh, talk me through that yeah. one. All right. Um, basically they implemented these things called scrolls. Um, and scrolls are needed to mint new sneakers now. Um, and, and they, they implemented this cause they found, I actually want to see if I can find this on YouTube. Um, they found out that there were these farms in China. Um, step in, like this isn't step in farms. Yeah, uh, you see. I've, um, I've yeah. seen. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you know who? I think his name is like Biaheza, something like that. Uh, no, I, I think I've. I think I've sent you some of his videos. He's like a. Uh, I think he started in e-com, but then he's been pretty big into like uh, crypto and shit. And he he made a video where he he literally bought like fifteen phones, yeah, and just bought like fifteen pairs of shoes and just put them in a backpack, and was making like six hundred <laughs> bucks a day. That's insane. That is insane. So I imagine that yeah, I imagine the Steppen Farms are just like a scaled out version of that. Um, so scaled out. They're um, uh, and they're all. In, I mean, the ones that got like a ton of press. These people were all in China. They had at least they had like h- hundreds of phones, probably five hundred of phones laid out on like what looked like. Um, when you go to the Apple Store, you see those tables of like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like just phone or it looks like a you ever see pictures of like a you know like a twitter bot farm where it's yeah. just like fucking 600 phones on a <laughs> on like those plastic folding tables yeah all plugged into one mainframe exactly. so then how are they how are they gaming that system where like how are they getting the the mileage for the runs so they they weren't they weren't and so that's why Stefan implement they were just literally uh, like flip I don't I don't know what the mechanics was but I know that that's why what they were doing is why Stefan the the devs came out with scrolls scrolls make it like you earn scrolls when you're going out and you're on a run you'll get a scroll so those okay. are required to mint new sneakers. Um, like as of maybe five weeks ago so okay so th- this guide basically told me how much energy i would need to spend and like i would just collect data to see okay i wanted to get level uh one or two minting scrolls and so i just collected they don't tell you the statistics on this one so unlike the like arbitrage guide i had all the data mm-hmm. i needed just to run the calculations so here i had to kind mm-hmm. of collect my own data to see where the hot spots were so now what i do is i end like while i'm out and about i stop my runs now at either 2.2 or 2.4 energy because then I can get the as many scrolls as possible and I can actually sell these um, scrolls on the marketplace. And so instead of just doing one long run where I use like 10 energy at a time, um, you know, I could make an extra like nine bucks a day by, you know, doing something, stopping my runs each time and then restarting immediately in between the sweet spot zone of 2.2 and 2.6 energy spent. And this okay. is kind of and what so, And so, like, to put, to put that in perspective, like, 
if you're running, like how how many miles does two point two to two point six energy points equate to, or does that depend on like yeah. how fast you're going or, or, or on the duration? Or, yeah, if I'm in or my on runner, the like duration. Yeah, if I'm in my, in my runners, um, you know, I run at about a nine to ten minute mile pace. I'm um, working to get a little faster, but I've only been into this for about three to four months now after like an 18-month hiatus. Um, so 2.2 energy equates to 11 minutes of running and 2.6 energy equates to uh, 13 minutes. So, um, yeah, you know, so almost a mile and a half and if half you're half booking it. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'll restart after every mile and a half so I can get these level two, uh, uh, mystery boxes, I guess, um, which give you, and then I track like what each of those mystery boxes, you know, give me. So mm -hmm. sometimes they give me scrolls when they do, that's ideal. So I can sell those on the marketplace for an extra like six to nine bucks a profit a day. Damn. So yeah, there's just a bunch of little fun gamified ways. Like that's why I think so many people love. Uh, this app, despite how, like, get, looking back at this disgusting chart, like, you're not earning as much, but it's still fun because you can track yeah. metrics like it. And if you're the first one to figure it out, um, or one of the early it's ones, a, you could it's make a like, huge advantage. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of a wrap there of the things that I've been tracking as of late. Nice. Um, so as far as like, like, where do we think this is going to be going in? Like, do you, do you think this, this still has a chance of rebounding to getting back to maybe like one to two bucks per GST or is it kind of like more for like hobbyists now where it's like, if you were already going to be running today, like, log into the app and, and log it that way kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I don't see one to two bucks happening um, on the Solana or Binance Smart Chain realms. I do see that happening on their future realms, though, because they've got sponsorships with... They've already got one that they've announced with ASICs. Um, I believe they're going to announce one here soon with Adidas. Uh, I think one of the people on their board... Um, board of directors is is an uh, Adidas executive, and then they're doing these cool partnerships with like Board Ape. So I think um, their uh, roadmap involves uh, each realm potentially partner like future realm that they haven't released yet partnering with you know like Adidas, Nike, you know powerhouses mm -hmm. like that. Um, and each GST will be its own ind like independent GST. Like there's GST Solana, GST by yeah. Smart Chain. I think the um, like the future realms will be that way as well. Um, and I think they'll follow the same pattern. They'll start really high and then they'll get lower. But like yeah, and then again the buy in and they'll just keep the booting up new realms. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's kind of what the future looks like. Um, if you have like a lot of money to buy in, like you'll be able to take advantage of those new realms. But, um, if you're just looking to get into like running again, I'd recommend just starting out here on like the Solana uh, realm or the Binance Smart Chain realm. Um, yeah. And especially since the price of shoes is down to, you know, essentially the price of real shoes. That makes it much more approachable. And I think that'll, that'll give it a little boost as well. Yeah, I mean, it was absurd spending a thousand dollars on a pair of these. I was telling my family about this, and they were like, they thought my brother in law, I gave him a few pairs of sneakers. He was like, I was like, he thought like he was actually gonna have to wear these ugly ass cleats that like, <laughs> like in real life that somehow trapped. Yeah. And I was like, no, these are just like virtual NFT sneakers, and like, yeah. They're just pixels. Yeah, they cost me a thousand bucks. Here's three of them, and then we <laughs> entered into like a profit sharing agreement for that. Uh, Jesus, you get. Yeah, and then, you know. <laughs> you're you're great. pimping everyone out. I, I was trying to start a little small business there, um, and <laughs> I got 
ended up uh i don't know if if we keep on doing it the roi based on my chart it'll pay off with time but um yeah it's it's not as lucrative as it once was that's for sure yeah well unfortunately uh it doesn't look like you're gonna make three hundred forty thousand dollars this year <laughs> yeah that's that's not but 10 10 grand 10 10 grand is not bad yeah yeah, ten grand and getting in shape again is uh it's definitely worth it. So Yeah. Yeah. Uh you got anything else for us, Danny? I think that's pretty much it. Um Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. That was fun. Yeah, we'll we'll make it uh we'll make it a regular thing, dude. Awesome. It's Sounds good, Scotty. Always good talking to you. Yeah, All right, later guys. guys.